Welcome back to Mobile Tech World. Right now I'm gonna show you how the HTC Desire stacks up against the HTC HD2 and page loading speed. So I'm gonna load Mobile Tech World on both handsets using Wi-Fi connection and I cleared the cache beforehand. So here we go. So they both loaded nearly at the same time. The big difference here is that uh, the HTC Desire is a lot faster. Scrolling is a lot faster on the HTC Desire compared to the HD2. And as you can notice here, uh, the whole page is perfectly fitted and zoomed out uh, on the HTC Desire, unlike the HTC HD2 where there is no way to fully zoom out of of it and the other, the other major difference is that you don't have any checkerboard pattern on the HTC Desire compared to the HTC HD2 basically the, the web browsing experience on the HTC Desire is a lot better than that that, than what you get on uh, on the HD2 and here you have uh, YouTube videos directly embedded uh, into the web page and here you just have a blank space because there's no flash support and Opera Mobile uh, 9.7 the other neat thing here is that I can zoom anywhere I want on a picture and it won't uh, jump uh, to the left, I'm gonna try to do the same thing right here. I'm gonna try to zoom on the T Mobile logo, and as you can see, it's not really as precise, and it's just a pain to zoom into something. And as you can see here, I can easily navigate on a web page without having to use both hands. And pan again because Opera decided that it wanted to jump to the left. I'm gonna load up another website. Check out uh, cgsociety.org. Try to do the same here. CG so. and you can see the same thing here it's not fully zoomed out here I have everything I have the flash ads running and if I want to zoom into this picture I can do it easily if I try to do the same thing here you have the same effect it jumps to the left because of the reflow feature in Opera. And here's how it looks like in landscape mode. You can see on the left it's a lot smoother. So this was a quick comparison between the HTC Desire and the HTC HD2. So catch me back on Mobile Tech World. Thanks for watching.